Hey, it's Matt with Mage. This is our feature callout series where I talk about the latest and greatest in Mage, new tips and tricks that I think will help you make the best data pipelines possible, the most magical data pipelines possible. And this week I'm talking about uh, dynamic blocks in Mage. So what are dynamic blocks? Um, well, if you're familiar with Airflow and the concept of dynamic task mapping, this is a lot similar. Um, dynamic blocks are just where uh, in, a, uh, in our tool, right, a block is like a task. You create tasks dynamically. So you have a pipeline that has multiple outputs and then each of those outputs are assigned a task. Um, and so the way we do this in Mage uh, is, is by setting a block as dynamic so that you click this little more actions icon here and then you can set block as dynamic or di disable as dynamic once, once you've done that. And then we return a list of lists with dictionaries uh, for each child block that we'd like to create. So here I have my list of lists and uh, I'm just returning a simple one through three ID uh, for downstream blocks. And we've marked this as dynamic. So Mage knows, oh, hey, I'm gonna create a separate block for each of these outputs. Um, and so then our, our transformer block is a, it's a child. It's going to accept each of those outputs and perform the given action. Um, and so then we've also elected here to reduce the output. Um, you can toggle that on or off through the same menu. Uh, but what that means is that when we perform this dynamic action, it's all going to get merged together in the next downstream block. So uh, in our final transformer, we're summing. You can see we actually have access to all of that input above, and we're summing that up to get um, to get the transform data. So start to finish, we're taking these IDs, we're actually cubing them as our transformation, and then we're summing them. Um, and so our uh, pipeline editor page doesn't show the dynamic children just because it doesn't. We don't want to get things too messy or, or laggy when you're editing. Uh, but if you run this pipeline, we should be able to see that um, actually in the block run itself. Um, so the block runs, if we click this number, um, we'll be able to pull up our dynamic tree. And so you can see, right, we're, we have our, our three outputs, those ra that range uh, that we're passing down, spawning three uh, dynamic children that we're then cubing those numbers and then reducing the output in the final block. Um, and so if we look at the logs, that final block is called uh, aged shield. Um, we actually should be able to get the output 36, right? So one plus uh, nine plus, uh, oh man, I'm getting smoked here. It's, <laughs> it's one plus eight plus 27, 36. Okay, cool, right, it all, it all checks out. So um, yeah, that's, that's dynamic blocks in Mage, uh, super powerful. Um, you know, I think the main use here is parallelization. If you have a bunch of small tasks that you want to execute in parallel that would limit a pipeline otherwise, you can create dynamic blocks uh, Mage lets you just define whatever executor you want. So if you want to like run this in Kubernetes, um, and then uh, you know you get kind of horizontal um, auto scaling there. So you could imagine having like a dynamic workflow with some like really powerful auto scaling, allow you to just crush through those tasks that you you need to execute in parallel, um, and then reduce the output and write it to wherever you need to to write it. So yeah, that's dynamic blocks in Mage. Very powerful pattern. The idea of parallelization is not something new in data engineering, but it's something that you don't see done well very often. Um, so I'm Matt, this is Mage, this is our dynamic blocks feature uh, in our tips and tricks series. Uh, until next time, peace.